Hey! Today we celebrate not only the 18th annual Bike to Work Day, but also the greatest increase this city has ever seen in the number of people bicycling and in the number of biking improvements. We are seeing, literally just in the past year and a half, 23 miles of new bikeways added, and that has resulted in a major increase in the number of people biking. Literally a 71% increase in just five years of the number of bike trips in our city. I bike from uh, Vernal Heights to City Hall, and uh, you know, it's just amazing to see how much the, the bike infrastructure has improved over the years. Uh, and you just see the change. There are so many more people uh, that are riding. The increase is phenomenal. Uh, I, I am pleasantly surprised to see how many people uh, really want to kind of use it as a good exercise. In the South Bay, 1,300 Google employees pedaled to work last year for Bike to Work Day. This year, Google organizers estimated 1,500 to 2,000 employees joined in. Google has free, brightly colored company bikes for employees to get around on campus. It's one of many bike-friendly employers. When companies and cities make biking safety improvements, employees hit the road with two wheels, not four. And largely based on the improvements the city's made for bicyclists and, and bicycling in the city, we chose uh, bike parking. So we now have, I think, almost, thanks, uh, we, we have almost half of, uh, of the 130 people that we have in San Francisco riding and commuting by bike. The employees of uh, Airbnb really depend on uh, the bike-friendly nature of this city. Of our over 100 employees, half of them ride their bike to work each day. Market Street alone, just in the last one year, 43% increase of bike traffic on Market Street alone. When you look back over the last five years, Market Street has seen 115, 115% increase on bike traffic. I want to thank all of you for not just walking the walk, but riding the ride. We have come a long way since the bike lawsuit, but does anyone think that we can do better in San Francisco? Yeah. San Jose just decided to segregate bike lanes in their downtown area. In Davis, California, they bike at four times the rate of what we do here in San Francisco. Can we do better than Davis and San Jose? Yeah. Supervisor Wiener and I are on the Metropolitan Transportation Commission. We need to make sure that the rest of the Bay Area also embraces biking. I mean, I think that we want to promote uh, more bicycling in the region. I think that uh, seeing an increase in biking is something that helps uh, not only the, you know, the, the climate goals that we have, uh, it, it, it helps in terms of uh, congestion, it helps in terms of the, the public health, uh, and I think it's important for uh, regional government to promote that and to make sure that we in the Bay Area are not only leading the charge uh, statewide when it comes to biking, but nationally. And so uh, I think that we're on our way to making that happen. The Bay Area Bicycle Coalition, which coordinates Bike to Work Day events under contract with MTC, established 350 Energizer stations around the Bay with the help of 511.org, Kaiser Permanente, and other supporters. We are here to help promote exercise. Kaiser Permanente is proud to sponsor the Bike to Work Day again this year and really trying to encourage everyone to get out and exercise. Well, you know, it feels good. 42-year-old Dr. Todd Weisenberg was one of hundreds crossing the Golden Gate Bridge by bike. Biking is a win-win-win. It's good for you, which is the most important, but also it's good for the environment by decreasing emissions, and it's actually good for your pocketbook too. It saves you money, it saves the community at large money um, by reducing fossil fuels and uh, reducing the carbon imprint. Someone who rides a bike regularly experiences the fitness levels of someone 10 years younger. They also live two years longer. It's also good for clean air. Um, in the Bay Area, we really love our nature and we love um, making sure that we have clean air. We want to make sure that we're, we have alternative solutions for transportation. Around the Bay on Bike to Work Day, Mark Jones reporting.